Hey, Financial Future Squad. Today, we're diving into a crucial piece of economic news, the Federal Reserve's plans to cut interest rates. I'm breaking down the highlights from their press conference and deciphering what this means for you and the economy. In this meeting, the Fed shared projections that give us a roadmap. They aim to steer inflation down to 2%. But here's the kicker, they're considering cutting rates before hitting that mark. Confusing? I'll break it down. According to their projections, they anticipate inflation dropping to 3.2% by the end of this year. By 2024, it's targeted to hit 2.4%, reaching the ideal 2% mark in 2026. But here's the twist. They're ready to cut rates while inflation is on the path to 2%, not necessarily when it gets there. The Fed's economic projections are a treasure trove. Unemployment rates are forecasted to touch 3.8% this year and edge to 4.1% next year, holding steady for the foreseeable future. The good news? No recession is projected, with an expected GDP growth of 2.6% this year, slowing temporarily to 1.4% next year before picking up in 2025 and 2026. Here's the bombshell. The Fed plans to slash interest rates by a total of 0.75% by the end of next year, aiming for 4.75% in 2024 and further reducing to 3.0% by 2026. Now, let's get into the press conference highlights. Chairman Powell is clear, they won't raise rates unless absolutely necessary. They're keeping a watchful eye on inflation. Even though they're not ruling out future hikes, indications suggest we might have hit the peak for this economic cycle. Powell emphasizes that a recession isn't here yet, but it's not off the table. The motivation for these rate cuts? They want to slow inflation down and address the economy's slowdown without plunging into a recession. There's a bit of a disconnect, though. Despite rosy government reports, the general public isn't feeling the economic boom. Why? Prices aren't dropping, they're just rising at a slower pace. However, wages are starting to outpace inflation, which might boost morale. And in response to political speculations, Powell makes it crystal clear the Federal Reserve's decisions are not influenced by politics. They're focused solely on what's right for the economy, not election cycles. Lastly, if a recession looms, it could prompt rate cuts sooner. Powell stresses they don't want this scenario, but it would be a significant factor in their decision-making. So, there you have it. A comprehensive breakdown of the Federal Reserve's plans and what it means for you. Stay tuned for more updates on financial futures as we navigate these economic twists and turns together. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join the conversation in the comments below, and brace yourselves for a more informed financial future. Until next time, take care and stay financially savvy.